Hey there, happy tourist. This is Vanny Wild Horse, and I'm in St. James, Minnesota. I'll just see what's going on in St. James, huh? Yeah, there's some building there. Kind of old. <laughs> Building looks like it's like an apartment. There's an apartment building, 1900. It's pretty much boarded up. Maybe they're using it or anything. No, what are they using? I don't know. Hard to tell. Hard to tell. There's the Watonwan County food shelf. There's Mayberry Realty. <laughs> guy looking at me like, who's that? Who's that guy in a camera? the Minnesota Valley Action Council. The Head Start program for kids. There's the Watonwan County Courthouse built in 1895. Looks like a nice courthouse. Well, that's a it's a public building, so I can let's go up to the window. That's legal. Okay, there's a lot of the sellers here. Okay. Sorry, I can't go inside there, wild horse fans. Here it is, 1895. This courthouse is built. Very nice. Very nice. There's Casey's gas station. the car wash over here. Lennox. And like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And there's the car wash. Let's see how it looks like first. Maybe I'll... Yeah, the trouble is I can't wash my car with my grill halfway off. Dollar off any car wash with fill. Hmm. Yeah. There's the St. James Chamber of Commerce.
Berkowitz Law Office. Century Link. It's like one of those old time school buildings. Here's the library. <laughs> and people look at me like, hey, you're a strange one, aren't you? <laughs> Yeah, that's the way people are. I think I'm, I'm strange. City Hall over here. Yeah, I know. Keep the camera straight. Trying my best. I don't know what that is. And the cleaners. Alterations and repairs. Hmm. There's wired aids my remember that oh, it's, it's a pay, patriotic story or something like that uh, congratulations to the seniors yes congratulations seniors the building built in 1899 very nice Sign place. There's Sand Olson, attorneys at law over there. <laughs> All these people, they, they look at me like I'm strange. <laughs> Sorry, very proud of Colin, it's driving. tripped over that sign well here's a apartment over here it's like some more apartments Parking this block. Don't worry, I won't. <laughs> Pioneer Bank. Ironic, it's a modern bank, but okay. There's a massage parking here. Real time pain relief, massage, and therapy. By appointment only. That's an idea. Another specialty care. I'm counseling those that need the counselor. Same building here. Oh, American Legion Lounge. Oh, okay. No, yeah, yeah. Be a military veteran to go there, and I go in there. The veterans would say, "Hi, hey, you a veteran?" Ah, get out of here. They'd say, "Want to one room?" Okay. There's the Ham's band box with full tabs. Starting June 6th, we'll be closing on Mondays. Thank you very much. No loitering, don't worry. Here's the Plaza Jalisco, Jalisco Mexican Grill. There's an interesting shop. 
a public restroom. Cherry Road Media. You can find them at Facebook, Twitter, and I think it's Instagram. I'm not sure. Well, Twitter for me is okay. Facebook and Instagram, they can have it. There's a good old building up here. It's like this place is. Let's see. What's this one? Resilient nutrition. I can I could use nutrition myself. Well, let's see, did I? I think I did that one. Hmm. Oh. This is the Thrivent Financial, formerly the First National Bank building. Okay, that's Century 21. Posted, this building is deemed uninhabitable for human occupancy under city ordinance and the Minnesota State Building Code. Uh oh. <sighs> I better get out of here. <laughs> oh, so this building's no good, huh? No, it's okay to me. Well, I guess that's a. I guess I'll probably knock this building down. I'm sure. Yeah, I, I can look inside and no law against it, I guess. Yeah, they built it kind of modern. Hmm. Must have rodent problems or something. I don't know. There's Lupe's Mexican Grill. Oh, this one doesn't have a problem. There's any time fitness. The Sidel store. Oh, a lady being real, that'd be nice. But she's a mannequin, so I'm sorry, well, they real women. Mannequins are for desperados. Okay. Here's the collage of St. James. This looks interesting. Hmm. Here's the Encore Coffee Cafe. Now there's Schmidt's Bakery. Well, it's looking nice. Is it closed? I think it is. Hmm. Oh, closed Sunday and Monday. Oh, no, it's open. Good. I like the bakery. Here's Nails Hablo Espanol. I guess that means he speaks Spanish. That's good. There's a couple of buildings that are available. Those of you that need a place. Here's Sir Yo. And El Salvador, I can read that. Vios de Dinero Tarjetas Telefonicus. 
I can't read Spanish. Sorry about that, wild horse fans. Yeah. And this is a bar, obviously. And there's Jake's Pizza. Boy, for a ton of four thousand, they sure have a lot of places. Jake's Pizza and Parking. I'm impressed by this town, actually. Most towns are 4,000. They're so dull it isn't funny. This this town is kind of kind of hopping. There's a lot of a lot of people. Um, this is a uh, Latino Zorio. Very interesting. There's for rent. Oh, a place to stay. How nice. There's Olsen Optics over here. And some nice chimes. Olsen Optical. Whoops, Olsen Optical. My mistake. My mistake. So as you see here, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Walker Road is uh, under construction here. Here's some way over here. Another Casey's gas station here. There's the St. James liquor store. Here, that's going to be the St. James Veterinary Clinic in the future. Well, it's nice to have veterinary clinics for animals.
and there's well to a lot of people's favorite McDonald's but me no not for me that's up to you wild horse fans I'm sure some of you love McDonald's so Please go to side door or call. Okay. It's a stand with stew. Okay. Oh, must be a politician. The St. James Saints. Hmm. There's Hometown Family Restaurant. There's the Johnson's Old Fashioned Meat Market. Uh, let's see what do they have here. I wonder if they got ribs. Ribeyes. Mm hmm. My favorite. Love those ribs myself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's Lords and Ladies Hairstyling. Lords and Ladies Hairstyling. That ought to be great. Oh, there's some barbecue stuff. Verizon. Uh, let's see, tell these old buildings. Look at that old building, boy. Oops. I'll let you cross first. Ooh, cool car. <laughs> but that car cost them a pretty penny. Oh, there's the CCF Bank. It's a modern one, obviously. Knocked on an old one. Yeah. I know some of you Wild Horse fans, oh, they knocked on old buildings, that's sad. Well, it costs money to buy those buildings, so if you got the money, go buy an old building. If you don't, let's see. It's a community building, I see. Ah, let's see, this is the Princess Theater, they're showing Elvis. Hmm. Very interesting. Well, they're showing Elvis here. Okay. For those of you that are Elvis Presley fans, uh, rice to come from Elvis was liked by old and young people. Now, well, many young people, all older people I know of, yeah. Let's see clearly eye care center. All the eye care you can trust. In honor of Juan and Sakaro Mardavedin, okay. We dedicated the Muriel.
Okay, let's see. Yeah, they, okay, I'll show the Muriel. Okay, now you wild horse fans are saying, hey, can, can we see the Muriel, please, Randy? Sure. Okay, I'll back up a little bit, so. Okay, there's what the Muriel looks like. I'll put a close up to it a little bit here. Very nice. Ah, very, very nice. Ah, the right care center. Oh. Very nice, Muriel. Very nice. I'm impressed. I'm impressed, wild horse fans. And I don't impress easy. I don't. Yeah. Takes a lot to impress me, believe me. Yeah. See, St. James Water Tower over there. No, there's the St. James Post Office. Yeah, it's getting, getting kind of chippy over here. And sometimes those bricks, you know, they tend to chip away. Ah, this is one of my favorites. Variable tracks. Well, technically I'm on railroad property, so I very not spend too much time in the tracks. <laughs> There's U-Haul. Sharp line. And they're open. Hmm. I think we've got a small U-Haul truck available. Personally, I think I take a little bigger one. I like, I like room. Here's the Sharp Line Clearance Depot, liquidation surplus consignment. Storage. Hmm. Huh. I could store my vehicle in there. Oh, nice. No admittance. Yeah. I don't want to go inside. No thanks. Let's see. Looks like this is all a apartments and private residences here, so. Hey. It is something for the Park Hotel, but you know, it's nothing left, so I'm not even gonna. I don't know why they put plaques of stuff up there and then there's nothing. I don't understand. Well, I guess some people just. I don't know. The St. James Building, it was built in 1901. There's a whirlpool. There's a squad. A squad or whatever that is. Here's BT Power Sports over here. Hmm. 
Right. Oh, there's a store for sale over here. Nap all the parts over here. Here's Johnson Repair. Oh, I'm so tired. Hi, well, St. James sure has a lot of stuff for a town of 4,600 people. Wow, I'm, I'm impressed. Oh, there's the St. James National Guard. We're at the National Guard to protect St. James. That's why it's so peaceful, huh? Mike Nordby Insurance and Photography. Oh. <laughs> Almost fell down. <laughs> There's some bare foods here. A lot of interesting people in St. James. Lots of interesting people. Yeah. You know, sometimes you go to a town and you're just, you're just surprised. And this is one of the towns here, St. James. It surprises me. <laughs> it's different than I thought it was. No, it's good. Not bad. Okay, there's a building that's for sale here. Let's see what's inside, huh, Wild Horse Fans? Overso Lumbre, okay. <laughs> People look at me like, is that Bozo with a the camera? There it is, Wild Horse Fans. Huh. See, there's star windshield over here. There's a water tower there. Clock there. squad very interesting hmm. they still have those places out there <laughs> yeah now that building there doesn't have a year it was built it did but it either they must have took it down or it fell down but 
I'm sure someplace on the internet will say when it's built, so. Is the city of St. James downtown park? Show you around. I have a drinking fountain. It doesn't work, see? 82 degrees at 10 12 a.m. So I need a picture of a bicycle. Somebody moving. Okay. See the kind of books they have here, anything that catches my eye. God gave us Easter. Hmm, interesting. Oh, let's see. Sandra Brown played dirty. Hmm, what's that spot? Here's the gazebo. I'll show you what it looks like inside. No wind today, you can tell the, the flag isn't blowing around, so. Ah, oh, there's where they put the, put the flag right in the middle. How convenient. Garbage can. Now we don't litter the town. I notice there isn't really any litter. Let's see. Burridge. Here's Dot's studio here. They'll be for St. James, Minnesota, so it's Randy Wild Horse, and it's always a wonderful and pleasant day. Here's the St. James Liquor Store. Here that's going to be the St. James Veterinary Clinic in the future. Well, it's nice to have veterinary clinics for animals. General over here. Well, there's, well, to a lot of people's favorite McDonald's, but me, no, not for me. That's up to you Wild Horse fans, I'm sure some of you love McDonald's, so.
I'm so tired. <laughs> There's a please go to side door or call. Okay. It's a stand with stew. Okay. Oh, must be a politician. St. James Saints. Hmm. There's Hometown Family Restaurant. There's the Johnson's Old Fashioned Meat Market. Uh, let's see. What do they have here? I wonder if they got ribs. Ribeyes. Mm hmm. My favorite. Love those ribs myself. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's Lords and Ladies Hair Styling. Loads of light is hair styling. That ought to be great. Oh, there's some barbecue stuff. Verizon. Uh, let's see. Tell these old buildings. Look at that old building. Boy. Oops. I'll let you cross first. Ooh, cool car. <laughs> but that car costs him a pretty penny. Oh, there's the CCF Bank. It's a modern one, obviously. Knocked on an old one. Yeah. I know some of you Wild Horse fans, oh, knocked on old buildings, that's sad. Well, it costs money to buy those buildings, so if you got the money, go buy an old building. If you don't, let's see. Community building, I see. Ah, let's see, that's the Princess Theater, they're showing Elvis. Hmm. Very interesting. Well, they're showing Elvis here. Okay. For those of you that are Elvis Presley fans, uh, rice to come from Elvis was liked by old and young people. Now, well, many young people, all older people I know of, yeah. <laughs> Let's see clearly eye care center. All the eye care you can trust. In honor of Juan and Sakaro were divided. Okay. We dedicated the mural. Okay, let's see. Yeah, they, okay, I'll show the Muriel. Okay. Now you wild horse fans are saying, Hey, can, can we see the Muriel, please, Randy? Sure. Okay. I'll back up a little bit, so. Okay, there's what the Muriel looks like. I'll put a close up to it a little bit here. Very nice. Ah, oh, very, very nice. Ah, oh, the right care center. Oh. Very nice, Muriel. Very nice. I'm impressed. I'm impressed, Wild Horse fans. And I don't impress easy. I don't. Yeah. Takes a lot to impress me, believe me. Yeah. Okay. 
water tower over there. Now there's the St. James Post Office. Yeah, it's getting kind of chippy over here. And sometimes those bricks, you know, they tend to chip away. Ah, this is one of my favorites. Railroad tracks. Well, technically I'm on railroad property, so I better not spend too much time in the tracks. <laughs> There's U Haul, sharp line. And they're open. Hmm. Looks like you got a small U Haul truck available. Personally, I think it's a little bigger one. I like, I like room. Here's the Sharp Line Clearance Depot, liquidation surplus consignment. Storage. Hmm. Huh. I could store my vehicle in there. Oh, nice. No admittance. Yeah. I don't want to go inside. No thanks. like this is all uh, apartments and private residences here so Boy. It is signed for the Park Hotel, but, you know, it's nothing left, so I'm not even going to... I don't know why they put plaques of stuff up there, and then there's nothing. I don't understand. Well, I guess some people just... I don't know. The St. James Building, it was built in 1901. It's a whirlpool. There's a squad. A squad or whatever that is. Here's BT Power Sports over here. Oh, there's a store for sale over here. Map all the parts over here. There's Johnson Repair. Oh, I'm so tired.
Hi, St. James sure has a lot of stuff for a town of 4,600 people. Wow, I'm, I'm impressed. Oh, there's the St. James National Guard. Oh, we got the National Guard to protect St. James. And that's why it's so peaceful, huh? Mike Nordby Insurance and Photography. Oh. <laughs> Almost fell down. <laughs> There's some fair foods here. A lot of interesting people in St. James. Lots of interesting people. Yeah. You know, sometimes you go to a town and you're just, you're just surprised. And this is one of the towns here, St. James. It surprises me. <laughs> it's different than I thought it was. No, it's good. Not bad. Okay, there's a building that's for sale here. Let's see what's inside, huh, Wild Horse Fans? Overso Lumbre, okay. <laughs> People look at me like, is that Bozo with a the camera? There it is, Wild Horse Fans. Huh. See, there's star windshield over here. There's a water tower there. Clock there. Peace Squad, very interesting. Hmm. They still have those places out there. <laughs> yeah. Now that building there doesn't have a year it was built. It did, but it either they must have took it down or it fell down. But I'm sure someplace on the internet I'll say when it's built, so. There's the city of St. James, downtown park. Show you around. I have a drinking fountain. It doesn't work, see? 82 degrees at 10, 12 a.m. So I made a picture of a bicycle. It's gonna be moving. Okay. See the kind of books they have here, anything that catches my eye. God gave us Easter. Hmm, interesting. Oh, let's see. Sandra Brown played dirty. Hmm, what's that spot?
Hmm. Here's the gazebo. I'll show you what it looks like inside. No wind today, you can tell the, the flag isn't blowing around, so. Ah, there's where they put the, put the flag right in the middle. How convenient. Garbage can. Now we don't litter the town. I know there isn't really any litter. Let's see. The verge. We start the studio here. They'll be for St. James, Minnesota, so it's for any wild horse, and it's always a wonderful and pleasant day.